In this video, I'm going to solve a simple problem on comparing alternatives. No? And I'm going to use the present worth cost method. Here's the problem. A pump for a reservoir must be operated continuously. That is 8,760 hours per year, 24 times 365. In the event of a large storm, the electricity from the local utilities power grid may be interrupted for an indefinite period of time. To deal with this emergency, emergency situation, two mutually exclusive backup diesel generators are being investigated. One of them will be chosen for implementation. Relevant data are provided as follows. So for the two generators, given data are the following. Initial investment, 5 million pesos for generator A and 6.5 million pesos for generator B. Annual operating and maintenance cost, 475,000 pesos for generator A and 400,000 pesos for generator B. Use for life is 15 years for generator A, while for generator B it's 20 years. If salvage values of both generators are negligible, which generator should be chosen? The minimum acceptable rate of return, MARR, is 10% per year. <clears throat> now, in using the present worth cost method, um, dapat same ang study period, no? since different ilang useful like 15 and 20. So, what we are going to do is find a number na mag-meet ang two alternatives. So, para LCD, ha? Pa LCD. So, for 15 and 20, that number is 60. 60. 60 can be, you know, uh, if you divide sa 15, it's 4. And if, if we divide, or if you divide by 20, the quotient is 3, constant. So, therefore, our study period here is 60 years. So, so, <clears throat> so this is what we're going to do. We use the present worth cost method. Okay. For generator A, let's draw the cash flow diagram. Okay. 15 years, 15 years, and the initial investment is 5 million. And then we have annual operating and maintenance cost per year constant yeah, for 15 years. Okay. Now, after 15 years, zero salvage value man, mag buy na sa dog, another generator. So, extend ka, another 15 years, so mag buy ka, brand new, 5 million, and then same um, annual operating and maintenance cost for 15 years. Okay? Zero salvage value man. And then after 30 years, since ang lifespan niya or ang useful life niya is only 15 years. So after 30, considered as scrap, no? So we buy again for another 15 years. And initial investment of 5 million and then same um, operating and maintenance cost. And then lastly, another 15 years, 5 million is at the end. And we take, and our A here is 475,000 given sa problem. Generator A, 5 million. And then annual operating and maintenance cost, 475,000. <clears> now, for generator B, the useful life is 20 years. So, 20 years. So, and the initial investment is 6.5 million. And then, and with this, 
operating and maintenance cost for 20 years. And then, ang useful life niya is 20. So, after 20 years, we buy again for another 20 years so until 40. 6.5 million and then same operating and maintenance cost. And then, after 40 years, we buy again for another 20 years para mag-match ang study period na 60. So, 6.5 million and then annuity. And our annuity here is our annual operating and maintenance cost is 400,000. So, based from this cash flow diagrams, we determine the present worth cost for each generator. Like for A, uh, at a project na to, to present, like 5 million plus the present worth of 5 million plus the present worth of another 5 million plus this plus the present worth of the annuity. Okay. So here's the equation or the value of or the present worth cost of generator A. 5 million plus present worth on it. F times 1 plus I raised to negative N. And this one. And then annuity and present words annuity. 475,000 times 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. And the answer is 11,286,400 80. We do the same for generator B. So it's 6.5 million plus the present worth of this, plus the present worth of this, and lastly, the present worth uh, annuity. <clears throat> so negative 20, negative 40. Okay. And the present worth cost of generator B is 11,596,663.5. And since we are, we are considering cost, so it means now you have to choose the smaller, smaller cost, the smaller value. And since the smaller one is for generator A is 11,286,000, while for B, it's 11,596,000. Therefore, we have to choose generator A. So, conclusion is, since the present worth cost of A is less than the present worth cost of B, we choose generator A. So, in comparing alternatives, it is important to use equal na study period, like in this case, 16, but bill equal ang useful life mean. So that's it. So I hope that you have learned something from this um, video. So thank you for watching.